Hello and welcome to another episode of Tales from the Crypto Coins. I'm your host, Sam Sneed, and today we're learning how to create and set up a MetaMask wallet for your desktop Chrome browser. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a MetaMask wallet is simply a desktop uh, wallet that acts as a conduit between decentralized exchanges and personal wallets um, outside, like uh, my Ether wallet. Uh, treasure and all of the other cold storage wallets um, so without further ado let's get to it so in order to uh, install and create this MetaMask wallet you first must have a Chrome uh, browser so we're going to come over here and we're going to basically just go to google.com and we're going to type in the search box Chrome download um, I never tend to click on the first link as ad it could be a phishing attempt um, and I've been told to always scroll down and pick the next one. Here we have it right here, Chrome Web Browser. You want to click on that. Now, I already have the Chrome browser, so I'm not going to download it, but I'm going to walk through and I'll basically show you how uh, seamless it is. So you want to click on the download button. And like with any service, you have to agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, this is no different. So you want to click on the accept and install. And voila, there you have it. Um, after you've installed it, you'll get the thank you download Chrome uh, message from from Google, and you're ready to go. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to open another tab, and you want to click the Apps button that's located in the top left. Now, when you do that, what happens? It shows you all of the Google uh, add-on apps that are available, and it, some of these are really famous and really popular. You should know them: Google Drive, YouTube, Gmail, etc. We want to um, work in the web store, so you want to click the web store and open up. Now, what this does is it opens up the web Chrome store. This is where you want to search and download the MetaMask. Now, it is a Google um, add-on, so you should be only adding it from the Google Chrome store. Anywhere else, you're asking for trouble. You only should be adding this add-on from the Google Chrome store. Um, so, there you have it. It's populated three results. As you see, there are two that um, do not belong and you want to stay away from them. Ads Killer app, that's not it. This MetaMask here, those share the same name, only has one review. This is probably a scam and a phishing attempt to, uh, to uh, grab your private keys and somehow take all of and steal all of your Ethereum. Stay away from it. You want to come right here. It has 709 reviews. It has the MetaMask icon, and that's the one you want. So, you click on the link populates to this and here you can even read reviews make sure you that you have the correct one um, I always tend to do that I don't just click and add because you could download a potentially virus potentially download a virus that could harm cause harm to your computer so now that we've identified that we have the correct MetaMask we want to add that to our Chrome um, and a little box populates it basically just tells you what it wants to do to your uh, your laptop which is totally fine um, and has which much happen in order for it to function correctly. So I want to add it now. So now it's checking, it's added. The neat thing about uh, MetaMask, it is a Google Chrome add-on. So um, when you, if you've done correctly, you will see the icon, MetaMask icon, populate at the top right of your Google Chrome web browser. That is basically confirmation that you've done it correctly. Um, and then also this will will open up and it's basically a welcome page to the MetaMask a wallet. It also has a nice video, it's about four minutes. Uh, it's really informative, it gives you a rundown of some other key functions that MetaMask does. I won't get into that today because it's really high level um, and today is just about creating a MetaMask wallet. So once you've done that, you wanna click on the icon and opens up and let's start the uh, process of creating and finish creating the uh, wallet um, the first thing you're going to see is the privacy notice um, you want to accept that it basically lets you know that your information when you uh, when you go to different websites to different decentralized exchanges MetaMask will record that information and is letting you know that um, you have to accept it um, again with any um, service you have to agree to terms and conditions um, this is no different so you want to read read that information and then you want to accept it now on to this is the uh, the last two-step process uh, very important though um, 
first thing, the first step of the two-step process is creating the password. Now, this password, um, ladies and gentlemen, should be taken very seriously. Um, the password should be strong. It shouldn't be strong enough that you forget it, but it should be strong enough that if anybody is making an attempt to crack it, and they know you, and they know little intricacies about you, and little details that they can't crack it, right? So you want to you want to create a strong password. Um, I have one in mind that I use. I think it's strong. I don't think anybody can crack it, so I have it here. Now, a tip: if you are someone who forgets passwords, or um, like me, you work in a professional settings and you have a thousand other passwords so it's so hard to keep up with passwords you might want to write it down um, I, if that's the case you want to write it down on a notepad that's tied to the laptop that you're using never um, store passwords on the web it's just it's just not a good idea never store passwords in an email account if your email gets compromised well guess what your minimass password is compromised thus giving access to anybody all right so you don't want to do that. You want to keep it. You want to keep it on a notepad, or the best way, of course, is keep it in your brain. So I've created my password. It's strong. I know it is, and I clap. And I, um, I'm sorry. Of step four. Now on to step two. This is what I consider the most important part of the creation of a MetaMask account. It's the creation and the and the securitization of your 12-word recovery seed. Now, the 12 word recovery seed is basically a key that allows you to restore your account if it is, uh, if the MetaMask account is compromised, uh, if the laptop is stolen, if you lose the program, if any, any unforeseen bad situation, this is the only way to restore your account is through the 12 word recovery seed. And it's simple. All you would do is re, you would reinstall the MetaMask Chrome add on. And then you would add, you would implement these 12 words and it would recover your account. Um, so let's walk through a quick scenario. Uh, you download and created a MetaMask account. You then deposited $10,000 into the account. Uh, you then had your laptop stolen. And now you're panicking. You're like, oh man, I just deposited 10 k My money is gone. No, it's safe. All you have to do then is uh, buy another laptop. Um, install MetaMask and then enter in these 12 words right here and voila your account is restored and your $10,000 is visible in your account so with that being said you want to save these 12 words in a safe place um, again I recommend saving them in a notepad someplace where you can get to them um, as you see here I have them in my notepad and I'm going to save it right here. And there you have it. So once that's done, you want to come back up here and open up your uh, MetaMask wallet. Bear with me. So try to open it up. There it goes. And you want to just click on one of these. Yes, you've saved it to a file and it's copied somewhere safe. Boom. So now please keep in mind, once you press that button, you can no longer go back so if you have not recorded your private key somewhere safe or somewhere you can get to it I highly suggest you not sending any ether to this account because if you lose um, access to the website if you lose access to the laptop um, potentially you will lose access to your ethereum right and we don't want that to happen so now that we're in our account our wallet our MetaMask wallet is created and it's fully functional and ready to go um, as you can see here, it has a generic name, default account. You can add a little life to it. You can save it, and I'll do just that. So I'm going to call it Mr. Jet Setter. That's the name of my account. Boom. It's there. Now, let's go through and just walk through the, uh, the MetaMask wallet and see some of the features that it has. Um, as you see here, view account with Etherscan. Now, for those of you who don't know what Etherscan is, Etherscan is pretty much basically an open an open ledger that allows you to visibly see, um, to visibly search, look up and confirm and validate transactions done on the Ethereum blockchain. So let's go to that. And it brings you here to Etherscan. 
So here is my address, my wallet address, and this is what you would provide to people when you want them to send money to you. This is the number that you would provide to them. Now, the thing I, again, what I like about uh, MetaMask is that it acts as a conduit between the decentralized exchange and your own personal wallet. Um, because this is an open ledger, anybody can take your wallet address and enter it right here in this search box, and they could potentially see all of the money that you have in your wallet, as well as all of the transactions that you've done in your wallet. So, with that being said, using MetaMask as a conduit to talk to exchanges and to the public so that you can safeguard your true um, private wallet is the, is the main function for MetaMask, right? It protects it. So, you have that here and you can pretty much do anything you want as far as viewing your transactions. Now let's go back to the MetaMask wallet and let's look here. You can have a QR code. So it's very important if you see these numbers here, this is your wallet. It's the same numbers that are located right here. Um, it's very important that when you're providing this number that you get exactly the numbers, exactly how they are presented here. If you misstroke, transpose just one number, well guess what? you have just entered in the um, wallet address to somebody else and you could potentially be sending somebody else your ether. So to alleviate all of that, they've made it rather simple. They've made this button here. It's called the copy button. You can click it. It's now copied. And then you could come here and you could just paste. And it's there for your for your viewing pleasure. So that's a, Q, that's a cool function as well as just using the, the QR code. You can scan it with your phone. This is this is really a cool function when you're sending money um, from Coinbase or from Gemini, uh, and you can just QR it, and it automatically populates the the um, the address below, which is just this number here. So let's go back here. Um, the third button it does the same thing. Without going into the QR code, you can just copy your address, this address, by just clicking this button. And finally, the export um, private key. Now you never want to use the export private key function. Um, it's it's like it's comparable to um, the pin the pin code on your credit card. You never want to share that information, right? There never should be a reason you should be exporting your your key your private key. Same thing with this. Um, hard forks sometimes allow you to ask you to export your private key, but even with that, if they're asking you to export your private key, that should be one of the biggest red flags for you. Okay, so. Now we've gone through the entire um, MetaMask wallet and now you can see uh, exactly what it does and, and how it and how to use it. Um, if you look here, his section is sent. This is your transaction history. It shows all of the transactions you've done here. It's basically a smaller version of the Etherscan, but it's the MetaMask version. Um, if you click here on the token, um, the tokens. You can click here. You can add a token that you that you purchase through a decentralized exchange. Now, keep in mind when you purchase a a token through a decentralized exchange, it will be in your wallet. But in order to view it here, you would have to add the token, and that's really simple. Here, you can do that just by adding, clicking here, and you will enter the contract address and the, to the token symbol symbol and the decimal um, the decimal place here, and you add it, and you your token will populate right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have just created a MetaMask wallet, and now you are able to talk to decentralized exchanges and purchase coins of your choosing. So please, um, if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, please feel free to leave them here at the bottom of the video. Um, and until next time, peace.